Hi, welcome to this Plans Express getting started video. In this section I will be taking a look at the roofs. Now before I draw the roof itself I'm going to put in some construction lines to help me later on. So to start with I'm going to go to the drawing annotation tab. I am going to go to the horizontal construction line and zooming in here I'm going to place that on the inside of that top wall there coming down here and also on the inside there on the inner leaf of that wall. Now to help me form the roof itself as well, I'm going to place one on the outside leaf of the recessed wall on the front of the house. So click to place that there. I'm now going to grab a vertical construction line. I'm going to hover over this wall, press R, left, and then 100. I'm going to come across to the right hand side. Now I've got no snap to there, so I'm going to press F7. So there we go, snapping now. Press R, right, and then 100, hit enter on the keyboard, click OK. And I've got some construction lines to help me as I proceed. So I'm going to go to the Architectural tab now. I'm going to go to the Roofs drop down. I'm going to go to the Cut Roof. And I'm going to select a 40 degree cut roof. This is following from the manual, so Estimating yourselves, you may want to use a truss roof for something this big. Now I can confirm the pitch of roof side 1 there, and roof side 2. Going through this now, I can also confirm things such as the soffit widths, barge boards, rafter centers, joist centers, gutter details. I can also take a look at the spacing of the tile leaf. So if you're estimating this, or estimating your own job there, if you're using, say, concrete interlocking, you'd want to change that to a 0 0.3 or roundabouts to match your tile. Next, if it's decorating the features, barge boards, soffits and such there, that's already said no because it's going to presume plastics. If you're estimating, click finish and then I'm going to select an apex roof. Click OK. Now, following the command window down here, indicate wall line that the roof is on. So if I zoom in here, it's asking for the, not just the wall itself, but the height of the wall it's looking for. So the wall plate height. So if I just click on one of the lines consisting of this wall, now you want to make sure you hit a line, not a space in between. As there's nothing to click on there, it won't pick up the wall. So once I've done that, the command window will change to say indicate the first corner for the width of building. So I'm going to select this corner here. I'm going to come down. And now, instead of clicking here, and moving across with the Y axis, I've got a construction line there helping me form the square of that building. So I can just click there now, and then come across to the third corner here, click to form the roof. Now, before it finishes forming, it's going to ask me to consider the flat ceiling, vaulted ceiling, purlins, binders and rainwater pipes at this stage. I'm going to say no because I need to draw a couple more elements of the roof and then I can go through this list. So I'm going to say no for now and we'll see the roof has formed there. The next section I need to do are these two gables on the front of the building here. So to do these I can go back to the roof Click on the button there, it's going to remember the settings I chose last, I left them as default, so that's fine. I'm going to need apex roofs once again. Now it's going to be a demonstration of the shapes here, so if I clicked on that one there, it'd still select apex roof for me. Click OK, and once again, indicate wall line that the roof is on, so I can click down here for this one. Give the first corner, second corner, and this time, before anything else, I'm going to press the T key as indicated by the command window, to T into another roof or building. So I'm going to press T, and then it says select wall or roof line to T into in the command window. I want to T into this roof here, so I'm going to click on that line there. I don't want to do the vaulted ceiling or anything like that at the moment, and automatically it's generated the valleys for me, and formed of the roof. I'm going to move across here now, and I'm going to go for the same process by selecting the roof, Apex roof, click OK, indicate the wall line the roof is on, select first corner, second corner, which is always the gable for these roofs, press T, and select a line there. It's now going to ask me to 
consider the flat ceiling, vaulted ceiling, purlins, binders and rainwater pipes at this stage, and this time I do want to do them. I've got no more roof to draw, so if I say yes, the roof will finish forming, and I can say yes to do I want to uh, place an area of flat ceiling. So once I say yes to that, it's going to bring up a dimensions box there just to confirm the joist centers and bearings insulation to ceiling, which you could say yes to if you're doing insulation across the ceiling. Happy with the options there, click finish, and then all it's asking for in the command window is give start point. So I'm going to select this corner here and then follow around the building. So very similar to other tools you'd encountered previously. Where you just need to trace the inner line of the building there and come down here I can press C to close that there now I don't need any more flat ceiling so I can say no I don't need any vaulted ceiling so I can say no to that but I will say yes to a purlin so I'm going to say yes to that it's going to ask for a start point so I'm going to come along here go to the midpoint here come across to where it says mid or perpendicular click and then right click to drop the tool it's going to ask me if I want to place any more purlings so I'm going to say yes to this and I come down to here to the mid and across again to the perpendicular here right click to drop that I don't need any more purlins at this stage so I'm going to click no but I will say yes to any binders on this section of roof so I'm going to click yes what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it the length of this uh, section here so I'm going to run it up 100mm above the original here so I'm going to press the snap key here so when I go perp it will run parallel right click and say yes to another binder hover over R key down 100 click OK I'm going to hit snap button again so I can come across and it will go perpendicular for me right click to drop the tool. I don't need any more binders at this point so I'm going to say no but I am going to say yes to the rainwater pipes so I'm going to click yes to that. Confirm the dimensions on this so fixing centers, supplied length of pipe, also the number of stop ends to each uh, pipe you draw. On average two stop ends per outlet so that should be fine We can click finish and all we need to do now is place these here. Now as you can see there's an intersection here of the construction lines I placed earlier so I just click once to place. Now because I'm placing a symbol as you may encounter previously it's going to ask for an orientation so I just click a second time and that will place then. It's going to ask me do you want to place rainwater pipes so I'm going to say yes again accept defaults come across here this way place and done say yes again, accept defaults, come down here, place, orientation, yes again, accept defaults, come across this way, place, an angle. I'm going to say no at this point, I've got two more to draw, but what I can do, as an example, so once these are placed in there now, in those four corners, I can say I want two more in here following these lines for this inner section of roof. Now to place these, as I've no longer got that prompt menu popping up, I can go to the roofs drop down menu, I can go to sloping roof accessories and you'll see here a menu consisting of the items that was being prompted for previously. So I can go to rainwater pipe for sloping roof, length of downpipe and then once again I can confirm so I can click accept defaults and I've got no construction line to place here now so I'm going to hover over this point, press R, right, 100, click OK, and then place the angle. Right click to bring the tool back, hover over that point there, R, left this time, 100, and click to place. Once that's done, I can confirm that there, and all I need to do now is I'm going to save this, save as, and call this Mr. Oliver. 
13. And before I end, I'm going to go to the views in 3D and check out a 3D preview. So I'm going to give that a moment to load. This way I can confirm that everything's gone in and I'm happy to continue. There we go. That's looking fine. Happy with that? Close that. And that's the end of this section.